Alright people, what is up? Welcome back to our channel. Once again, it's me, your bearded girl, Quicksilver15, back with another video. And today we'll be reviewing a movie that you should care about a lot. Yeah, that's right, brother. Yeah, that's right. Today we'll be reviewing. Today we'll be reviewing, as you can see in our background. I care a lot. Yes, by Netflix, a movie on Netflix, starring Rosin and Pike. Spike? Pike. Rosin and Pike. Such an amazing actress. She did a great job in this film, portraying just such a believable badass character, businesswoman, and a lesbian <laughs> on top of that. It's just, it's just an awesome character. So the gist of the story is we have this character named Marla Grayson. So, <laughs> and she runs this guardianship agency firm and it essentially scams old people out of their property so she can get hold of uh, their assets sell their assets and essentially technically use the asset money to pay the retirement home which she sends the old people but you know she takes more than she actually uses yeah so that sucks but yeah that's the essentially the store the premise of this film and of course uh, one of these old people were just a bit too much for her to handle and then a lot more stuff happens so by this uh, gist of the story you can tell that Marla Grayson is essentially a bad guy she's kind of an asshole and the, cr the amazing thing about it is you actually go into this gray area where you love and hate the character because she's just such an amazing character that's just you know she's a survivor and how can you not root for a survivor although sometimes she does do some really nasty stuff but you know it's all for her family and they did that I mean it's all for her loved one and uh, which is we're gonna talk about her later and it's just such an awesome dynamic story that's not one-sided and it just goes to show that a lot of stories nowadays have more than one layer so the main characters of this story we also have peter dinklage and Asa gonzalez which were great in their respective roles um, Peter Dinklage being the essentially the big bad guy although there the main character is also a bad guy and we have Aza Gonzalez who is a love interest and the partner of the main character and their relationships just are so well done and so believable and even the developing relationship with the bad guy was amazing and you can see where those kind of points take their turn and that's just such an amazing thing to see in this movie so again the movie and the story of the movie is just so amazing and it's such a creative take on this type of movie and you feel like you've seen it but not quite like this so the ending of the movie is you kind of see tidbits of where it's gonna go but you won't expect it to go there until it happens and you kind of expect it to go this way but then it goes so it goes a whole 360 on you and just goes a whole different direction but it's still kind of awesome and you, you get why they did that and you're like huh yeah that is kind of the better ending pseudo ending and then you get to the actual ending and it's kind of okay you're kind of at this point of the movie at the very end you're kind of rooting for marla grayson's character because you know you've been through this journey you actually do go through a journey with her and it's just such a, a hard ride you see her struggle and you see what she does 
what she has to do to survive and to and she does what she does for her loved ones and yeah it's just such an amazing ride and to see her conclude in that way was kind of sad but you know you kind of she does kind of deserve what happens to her in the end but yeah so yeah you really see that the story of this film was just so well written and the acting of Rosson and Pike is just so delightful and it's just it's just such an awesome combination and so yeah some of the major themes of the film is just about survival and doing the things you need to do in order to survive yeah sometimes you got to fight tooth and nail to get what you want and sometimes you got to step on people so, sadly that is actually as you grow older you will see that yeah that's sort of kind of inevitable in life you just kind of have to live with it and hopefully you don't need to do that <laughs> it has happened and it just goes to show that um, there are more sides to one particular story like we are all heroes in our own story and we are bad guys in some other people's point of view and that's just something you have to live with you know sometimes people you don't expect people to hate you but they do that's just how it is so you know with a lot of the social media stuff going on there are a lot of social media witch hunts I like to call them where people just where people just sort of where people just sort of try people on social media and accuse them of being guilty without knowing the full story you know so this movie is kind of brought up by that and again there are more to a story than just what you see there are a lot of background stuff of who are accused to be the bad guy but they're actually doing it for a good reason according to them and you know this yeah again that's just a hard pill to swallow that even the bad guys sometimes do have a good side so back to the movie the music and the visuals were actually really really good it's all very technically well done the mood lightings were so amazing i love the shots of her in the gym working out it was just beautifully shot with the lights and everything and the tension building was just amazing as well in this film i found myself gasping for air at the right appropriate times and yeah there are a lot of subtle character developments in the film there's just one lines that says a lot and that just says how well this story is written and directed because you know a good director and actually a good actor as well can make most can make a lot happen with just a few lines and yeah that was just amazing to see man a lot of backstory in just a few lines i'm telling you so this movie is just kind of refreshing to see it reminds me a lot of gone girl and if you haven't seen it uh, it should definitely be on your watch list and yeah it's also a Rosson and Pike film her co-star there is Ben Affleck and you guys should definitely check that one out so yeah this movie has a lot going for it just again the great cast again a great director and a great story to back it all up it's just a perfect mix of a lot of good ingredients and it will definitely challenge some of your points of views in life your morals a gray area this movie is just a huge gray area which i love <laughs> and it also kind of brings to light uh, these guardianship things agencies do they do this sort of stuff yeah so maybe that's a topic we should all be discussing as well and although I care a lot is nowhere near being a masterpiece it's definitely one of the better films out there so we're gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10 again yeah 
it's not a complete masterpiece but it should definitely be on your watch list so guys that's our take on the movie i care a lot what do you guys think have you seen it please let us know in the comments below what do you think did it challenge your point of view is it a big gray area as well let us know down in the comments below once again it's me your beautiful bro quicksilver 15 signing off